Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Qadibiyya Palace today. The Royal Highnesses praise the positive indicators of the government's performance as presented in the Government Forum 2019, which come to affirm the progress that Bahrain has witnessed under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. These indicators have also reflected the government's keenness on maintaining the confidence of the citizens in the services of the government as part of the government's plans to meet the aspirations of the citizens and to offer them a high living standard. The Royal Highnesses affirmed the achievements of the various ministries and government bodies which represent an incentive for further achievements in the future as the government takes on further challenges as part of its larger push towards sustainable development. They expressed thanks to all government bodies that have contributed to the success and to the organizers of the government forum as well for contributing to the forward march of the country. The Royal Highness has also discussed Bahrain's role in regional and international affairs, including its participation in the General Assembly of the United Nations, all of which represent an important parts of Bahrain's success story. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting today at Qadibiyya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser then delivered the following statement. The cabinet hailed the outcomes of the fourth edition of the government forum this year and commended the results of the forum and the projects and initiatives it contained to support the development of the government action system. The cabinet also praised the speech of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister during the Bahrain Visions Forum, Shared Visions for a Successful Future, which was held in New York, lauding its contents and initiatives that contribute to directing peace and stability towards the service of development and to the establishment of the values necessary for progress and the sustainable development. The cabinet also welcomed the positive feedback on the initiative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in which the UN General Assembly adopted the 5th of April as the International Day of Conscience. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to meet the needs and service of housing, educational and municipal requests of the residents of Barbar and its adjacent villages. He also instructed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to follow up on the development of internal roads and villages. His Royal Highness directed service ministries responsible for health, municipalities and commerce sectors to increase inspection and control campaigns in stores and facilities whose owners do not abide by health and safety regulations. The cabinet referred a draft law which regulates the work of the bureau that resolve cases of conflict between employees and employers to the coordination committee. The cabinet examined a periodical economic report on Bahrain for the second quarter of this year, which showed signs of positive growth of the economy thanks to the balanced budget program and with, within the contributions of the non-oil sectors. The cabinet looked into amending the law that governs the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry in light of the new initiatives that are intended to encourage growth and investment. The cabinet referred two draft laws which govern marine sub supervision law to a ministerial committee. The cabinet approved three recommendations that govern the installment payments of the housing units of Block 909, the compensation of those affected by heavy rainfall and the public utilities in Salman City. The Minister of Foreign Affairs then presented the outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the United Nations General Assembly. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received board member and chairman of the Executive Committee of the Princess Saita bin Abdelaziz Award for Social Excellence. His Highness Amir Saud bin Fahad bin Saud, member of the Executive Committee, His Highness Amir Salman bin Muhammad Al Saud at the Qadibiyya Palace today as part of the two Amir's visit to the Kingdom to participate in the Second Conference for Excellence in Social Work. His Royal Highness was presented with an award from the Princess Sita Awards Organization for His Royal Highness's efforts in encouraging and supporting voluntary and social work. 
His Royal Highness affirmed the important role of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and preserving the security and stability of the region through the positions it has taken to promote the interests of the Arab and Muslim nations. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Bahraini Saudi relations are based on solid foundations of mutual affection across the generations. His Royal Highness said that this meeting affirms the strength of the cooperative spirit that binds the two countries. His Royal Highness praised the mission of the Princess Saita Award, which His Royal Highness said has adopted many initiatives to encourage social and voluntary work among members of society. He recalled the positive contributions of the late Princess Saita in this field. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of social and voluntary work in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which are focusing on shared objective of sustainable development and the promotion of further progress and prosperity. His Highness Saud bin Fahad and His Highness Salman bin Mohammed expressed gratitude and appreciation for His Royal Highness's support and further development of the Bahraini-Saudi relations. They expressed keenness on further development cooperation with Bahrain and the service of social and voluntary work on GCC and Arab levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the success of the 2019 Government Forum. He said that the forum showcased national achievements marking the wide-ranging development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He paid tribute to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince who commended the Ministry of Interior's affiliates for their role in maintaining national security and stability. The tribute came as Bahrain police marks its centenary. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mayyad, was also present. His Highness expressed his appreciation to the Bahraini youth and their steps towards raising the status of Bahrain in various events. His Highness noted that Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah is one of the national youth and sports cadres in motorsports. He pointed out that the kingdom is moving towards consolidating regulations of sporting professionalism by giving it to legal framework that was supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah as the first Bahraini who holds a professional card in motorsports that he earned after hard work in representing the kingdom. His Highness said that Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah is a Bahraini role model for the youth and a great motivation for them to achieve their visions in representing the kingdom in world sporting events. His Highness also asserted his keenness on supporting all the Bahraini youth for them to continue developing the Bahraini sports. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fazia Zainal, met with the President of the UAE Federal National Council, Dr. Amal Abdullah Al-Qbesi, on the occasion of her participation in launching the Arab document on women's rights to be held tomorrow in Abu Dhabi under the patronage of the President of the General Women's Union, President of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood, and Supreme Chairwoman of the Family Development Foundation, the Mother of the Nation, Her Highness Sheikh Fatima bin Mbarak, and organized by the UAE Federal National Council in cooperation with the Arab Parliament. Fazia affirmed, Fazia Zaina affirmed that the historic relations between Bahrain and the UAE are becoming increasingly distinguished in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. She noted that Representatives Council's keenness on enhancing cooperation with the UAE Federal National Council to contribute to bolstering cooperation between the two countries. Zaina highlighted that keenness of the two countries' councils on achieving parliamentary partnership in supporting Gulf women empowerment. In light of the distinguished relations between Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bint Mbarak, Amal Al hailed the deep-rooted bilateral relations expressing pride in the achievement made in the Bahraini and Emirati women empowerment field. Another successful year in the fourth edition of the Government Forum held under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the initiatives of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. More in this report. The Government Forum brings together ministers and officials from across the government to explore ways in which even greater sustainable diversification and economic prosperity can be delivered. The first session is when the Crown Prince gives us a synopsis of what happened in the past year. Uh, we've just listened to 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince give us a brief of all the government's achievements over the past one year and a roadmap of what to expect in the future. Very inspiring speech. Uh, we had a lot of the people, top uh, management of the government in, uh, in one room and I'm sure they got the message clear. We have a lot of work ahead of us and great achievements uh, so far. So this event on a yearly basis brings together uh, all government officials and it's an incredible opportunity to uh, look at strategies and the way different entities in the government are developing under the patronage of their Royal Highnesses. It's a, it's a pleasure to understand the vision that they have set in place for, for all of us working under this umbre umbrella to support uh, different uh, fields in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The forum provides a unique platform and discusses wide-ranging government policies and initiatives, in particular the government program 2019-2022, to enhancing the quality and delivery of government services, providing quality opportunities for citizens and ways to transform current challenges into future opportunities. Today's government forum comes to prove that government has the great responsibility and accountability to maintain a quality of services to the public and to maintain their uh, auditing and, uh, and, and measuring the success of these services to meet the overall objective. The importance of the government forum every year for us is, is that it is the starting point uh, that leads us the way from a year to another. Uh, it is a forum that tells us about a clear vision. It helps us in uh, planning uh, all our strategic plans and it uh, showcases the outcomes of the previous year in terms of the winners of the awards. The Government Forum represents an opportunity to further enhance government performance and coordination in order to achieve the Kingdom's strategic goals that leads to achieving the Economic Vision 2030. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamid Youssef. Head of Public Security, Major General Tarak Al Hassan, headed the Ministry of Interior delegation in a joint meeting held today at the Public Security Officers Club with a high level American delegation headed by U.S. Deputy Minister of Homeland Security David Baikosk in the presence of Pre President of Customs Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Assistant Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs Sheikh Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa and a number of senior officers. The Head of Public Security conveyed the greetings of the Minister of Interior and his desire to strengthen in the frameworks of communication and exchange of views. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to the United States for the continued support for achieving common security. The head of public security asserted that the Kingdom of Bahrain has suffered for many years and is still threatened by external interference in its internal affairs and attempts to destabilize its security and stability. He added that the Ministry of Interior has strengthened its capabilities in the field of combating and countering terrorism and contribute effectively in reducing crime rates. They discussed aspects of the existing security cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States and ways of developing them in addition to future cooperation in the fields of combating electronics and technical terrorism and technical assistance in the field of training. The two sides also discussed a number of issues related to facilitating passenger procedures using the latest technology available within the framework of the existing cooperation between the two friendly countries. Meanwhile, the Head of Public Security and the U.S. Deputy Minister of Homeland Security signed a joint memorandum of understanding between the two countries. The Head of Customs Affairs held a meeting with the U.S. Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security, during which they discussed ways to develop cooperation and coordination between the two friendly countries and the field of customs, in addition to a number of issues of mutual interest which were discussed. The Deputy Minister of Homeland Security, accompanied by the Deputy Chief of Public Security, also toured the Maharat base of the Coast Guard Command, where he was briefed on the latest boats and maritime security systems and the capabilities of the Coast Guard to contribute to enhancing security and protecting maritime safety and the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Foreign Undersecretary for International Affairs Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa inaugurated the UN Country Team Forum, which includes UN agencies working in the Kingdom of Bahrain to discuss the latest developments related to strategic partnership framework between the Kingdom of Bahrain and 16 resident and regional UN agencies. The Foreign Undersecretary stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is at the forefront of the world in interacting with the responding to the objectives and principles of the United Nations and cooperating with its 
government's affiliated bodies. He expressed his pride in the efforts exerted by the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals, adopting a comprehensive strategy for development in all its three economic, social and environmental dimensions. He also stressed that Bahrain has provided all means and facilities for work of programs and UN offices in Bahrain. The Foreign Undersecretary noted that the forum is being held in conjunction with the Government Forum 2019, which aims to develop government performance by improving the quality and level of services of ministries and government agencies. The Undersecretary of International Affairs touched on the strategic partnership framework between the two sides as a pioneering step in the region to frame joint cooperation through practical programs and promising initiatives. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the most important actors in the field of sustainable development and has been able to achieve high development rates and improve the quality of life. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince during the Government Forum 2019 held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding the launch of the second edition of the Government Innovative Competition Fikra, the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister announced that it is now accepting submissions. Fikra aims to promote a culture of creativity and innovation among government sector employees which supports excellence in government services to the benefit of the Kingdom's citizens. Fikra's second edition will contribute to reinforcing the government's determination to stimulate competitiveness, accelerate the completion of projects, and further develop government performance in line with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. FICRA is open to all public sector employees, individuals or groups can submit their proposals at the website of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, www.fdpm.gov.bh. The closing date for entries is November 6, 2019. The National Bureau for Revenue held an interactive VAT workshop recapping general and sector-specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing. 68 entities were given the opportunity to visit a unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of a series of workshops that aim to increase businesses' awareness of VAT return filing procedures ahead of deadlines. Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority welcomed passengers who arrived on the first charter flight of the new season from Russia, Moscow. Two flights were scheduled per week since 2018 and will be increased to three weekly flights until May 2020. More on this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority continues to adopt initiatives with an aim to attract more tourists to the Kingdom of Bahrain and increase the tourism sector's contribution to the national economy. Representatives from BTEA welcomed the passengers who arrived on the first charter flight of the new season from Russia at the Bahrain International Airport with a traditional live band performance, giving them a glimpse of Bahrain's rich history and hospitality of its people. We agreed with the company to come up with over 20,000 tourists. It's, uh, the big, uh, it's definitely it's a big effect uh, in regards to the economy, to the hotels, transportations, uh, the, the local market and so on. And uh, as you see, uh, it's, it came from the, our efforts, uh, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority and our rep office in Moscow. Usually they will stay for seven nights in Bahrain and they will enjoy the, all the activities, all the historical places in Bahrain and they will do all the excursions, uh, sport activity, beach activity. Uh, we will operate this uh, operation from uh, today until 15 of May. The first flight commissioned by Coral Travel within the charter program from Moscow to Bahrain took place in October 2018 with two flights scheduled per week. This will be increased to three weekly flights until May 2020, carrying 220 passengers that will be staying in 30 different hotels across Bahrain. So all we introduce in uh, Russian uh, in these 15 days or 10 days or 7 days when the guest leave away from here he has an idea, good idea about Bahrain, about the tradition of Bahrain uh, uh, clothes, history, uh, foods, uh, everything about Bahrain. I read a little bit about uh, your country and um, I liked the information 
uh, the culture, the architecture. I um, looked uh, at some photos. Yeah, I hope it would be nice beach and I think a city your uh, infrastructure uh, very well very well I think and your medicine good and that's why we want to see Bahrain receiving Tata flights comes as part of the BTEA's long-term strategy to bring in large tourist groups further developing the kingdom's tourism sector on a regional and international level under the slogan of ours yours which contributes towards the kingdom's economy and the 2030 economic vision with flowers and traditional performances, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority welcomes the passengers of the first charter flight of the new season from Russia, showcasing the beautiful Bahraini culture and hospitality. Reporting for Bahrain International, Mehbab Abdul Ghaffar.